I, I wanted to talk about this anger thing real quick. I know you got a guest coming on, so you just tell me, you know. No, go go ahead. Talk back. Um, you know, anger is like a defense mechanism. Okay, it's an emotion that God gave you to take care of business when you need to get take care of stuff. Okay. What do you? No, think about I don't that? think I don't. I don't agree with that. I, if you have to, if you have to use anger as your motivation to get up and do something. Then that's no, that's no, what I'm talking about is this. There's a video that's going around right now of a young black girl that's in New York and they're trying to kick her out of this uh, 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 store. Uh -huh. And uh, she, they're looking for her right now. They ain't found her. On the way out, on the way out of the store, she just slapped this white lady so hard, probably gave her a black eye and stuff like that. Right. That's what I'm talking about. If that was my wife, I'd have jumped on that girl and pulled her hair out, punched her in the face. I mean, there wouldn't have been no, hey, I'm going to forgive you, crap. You hit my wife like that. E even anybody. But that sounds like you would have gone wife. overboard. Sure I would have. See, that did. going overboard, see, anger brings, possesses you and makes you go overboard uh, past what you're supposed to do, and then you bring trouble on yourself that's unnecessary. Well, well here's another example. Let's say you don't Wait, 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 wait. Let's stay with that I'm example sure. and admit that that's a bad example of a res an angry response. Well, I'm just trying to prove a point that it's a defense mechanism. That's not so defense, you though. Defend the, yourself, you went past you, know? def you went past defense into uh, getting yourself in trouble in your imagination. This is just theoretical. He never actually did this, okay? No. Except, except as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I did as a kid. Mr. Pink says you'll be worshiping the devil. That's not so. See, y'all are always talking about that. It's just like, you know telling this guy that, uh, not you, but uh, Jesse telling this guy that his mother's the devil, his wife's the devil, and, you know... Well, it's not that, that they're the actual stuff. devil, it's just that the devil controls them. Well, yeah, the devil controls anybody who's... Uh, who's angry. Who's not born again, okay? If anyone possessed again, by this... The devil's got you. Anyone huh? possessed by the spirit of, of uh, emotions... Well, you got God-given emotions, man, you know? You think it's a God-given emotion to sure that what these is. women have? No, no. no you I'm think it's a God-given emotion that would make you pull out a woman's hair just because he slapped your, your wife? Oh, yeah. I jumped your on second her wife. Her. Your I'd second wife, by the way, Mr. Christian. <laughs> right, my second wife. <laughs> which, is not, which is not legitimate in the eyes of the Lord. I don't well, think. Well, either is this, either is this, forgive your mother and return to your father. That's not in the Bible. But it's in the, it's right in the eyes of the Lord. Forgive your mother and return to your father. Are you kidding me? That's, that's not, that's not biblical? No. It's I not biblical? You don't think it's Bible. right in the eyes of the Lord to forgive your mother and return to your father? Oh, sure it is. But that's not, you're, ba you're, you're he's but almost you're, based but you're comparing, you're comparing, that. you're comparing, uh, pulling a woman's, hair out for slapping your second wife and second having a second wife is clearly against what the bible says forgiving and yeah, return I mean, forgiving your mother and returning that. to your father is not against what the bible says well look you know right you <laughs> right yeah. wait 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 right. let's stay with that yeah, sure <laughs> so that's yeah, I, so you're giving you know, me logical know, fallacies it says you can only only under adultery are you allowed to get divorced, okay? Right, right. and it never uh, says you can remarry unless she's uh, dead. Unless she's what? Unless oh, you're dead? widowed. If you're widowed, then you can I don't remarry. Look, you know. Right. That's probably the that's probably the last thing on the list of the stuff I've done. Okay, so you know, I'm just I'm saying I'm just perfect. saying right or wrong. It's that's what the Bible seems to say. Yeah, well, the Bible seems to say a lot of stuff. No, no, no. Okay, let's say right or wrong, that's what the Bible says. Okay, let's say the Bible does say that. But no, no, no. As, does the Bible say that? The Bible says. The Bible says, no, the Bible didn't say that you couldn't get remarried after your spouse commits adultery on you. That's sort of left wide open, and you know that. Okay? It doesn't it does say not, that you can remarry. It doesn't say you can't either. It no, only no. says you can remarry if uh, if it's uh it doesn't say divorce and remarry. It doesn't it never says to divorce and remarry. They were trying to trick Jesus, man. They were like, "Who's gonna?" No, no, no. Does it ever? It never says divorce and remarry. It says if you become a a widow, you can remarry, only in the okay. case of uh, a death. And you're not allowed to kill the person and then remarry. 
It's not right. No, it was. You can only get a certificate of divorce because of adultery. Okay, because they were wanting to, you know, divorce. And even their then, and even them. then, it's not clear that that it's a um, that that's okay to divorce. It's just that you're not making them an adulteress by well, by divorcing well, them. Well, where's this thing about, like, don't read the Word of God because that's just going to turn you intellectual? Why are you changing I mean, the yeah. subject? Because <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. We can talk about it, but you're changing the subject without uh, without okay. settling on the fact. I thought we did settle that. We did not settle thing. it. Well, what, what what do you want me to answer for you, then? Uh, remarriage is only allowable, according to the Bible, strictly speaking, when there's when you're widowed. When you're uh, when you're widowed. Yeah, it's, I that's that it's up. only explicitly it was, allowed when you're widowed, and even then they say not to do it. Well, I'm glad I did because you know. No, no, no. Let's. I'm not talking about glad or or what I'll you should do or wh- whatever. Next time I, hey, I'll look you literally up have to time. look it up. Yeah, I want to make sure I got correct information on it. I'm surprised that this is that. not. I'm surprised that you don't know this as much as as much as you know the Bible. Well, that's what I was wanting to talk to you about is about knowing the Bible, knowing the Word of God. So this is perfect. Sean says yeah. only when you're widowed and the brother of the man who's who's dead, the brother the brother, and the the okay. So basically, yeah, what Sean because, says that was, is uh, if the woman doesn't make a baby by the by the man whom she married. The brother is supposed to marry the woman and make a baby for the late brother. Oh, really? Yeah, and then God killed never, that man who... There was a man who didn't want to make a baby by his late brother, and so he he spilled his seed upon the ground. Sorry, ladies. But uh, God saw that that was evil in his eyes, so he killed that man for it. That was in the Old Testament. Huh. Wow, huh? Yeah. Selfish people, evil. But anyway, I'm not. I'm not telling you you should. I'm not telling you anything about what you should do. I know that there's a whole lot of Christians who've divorced and remarried, and now supposedly they're making it work. Trump himself is divorced and remarried many times, and I call mm-hmm. him a, a bro- one of our brothers in Christ, a light of the a light on the earth. But he's suffering for it. His children's. I mean, he, he he's. His family is suffering for it, you know? He's catching some trouble ba- back for it because his children are uh, not as alpha as he is. Oh, oh, so that's because he got divorced, his children aren't alpha enough? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's partly, I mean, I, I, would, I would hazard a guess that that has something to do with it. Children of divorce are oftentimes messed up. Not that children of, of marriage that, quote-unquote, stays together are not messed up. They're messed up, too, but... Children of divorce or get messed up, and the remarriage makes things even worse. Well, what do you think about telling some guy that the reason why his daddy beat him is because he was too much like his mother? That I makes mean, a lot of just, sense. No, that's just that, it, that's yeah, ridiculous. huh? Ridiculous. I mean, that no, wait, 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 wait. What irritates a man enough to uh, to physical violence, but uh, but the. But the hating of the evil that's coming from from the woman, and then seeing the child do that, that was, that's, it's not, justif- it's not justified that the man does it, but it's why he does it. It's spiritually no why he does that. Should, there's no reason that a, a, a father should beat their child, okay? I know, but why like do that. they do it? Because they got they got uh, psychological issues, man. They're right. messed up in the head, probably now. Right, and they're responding, like and that. they're responding to the to the to the evil spirit that possesses the child passed down from the mother. You've seen how children act just like their uh, their mothers sometimes, and the mothers don't even like seeing that. They start to they're like, oh no, my boy's gonna turn out gay or something like that sometimes, or uh-huh. the they think just like the the mother they act out and get all vicious just like the mother it's crazy right i have seen that okay because i i had two young black sales people and don't you were, and, and you t- no you yourself you yourself have been tempted to uh to um beat probably the the offspring of single mothers so you're no different from the um child beater 
what? Because I was an offspring from a single no, mother? No, no, because you've been tempted to beat the offspring of a single mother who, who act just like their mothers. Angry, oh, violent, no, I vicious. Say I was going to beat them up. Yeah, yeah, you were going to beat the person, the, the, the oh, theoretical that person slapped that woman? in this hypothetical scenario of that woman who slapped your wife, your second wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyway, so that's you're, not, right right? About the bla- you're right about the black thing, men thing because I had two salespeople that didn't have a father in the house. Yeah. They were raised by their mother and their grandmother. Right. Anytime they got upset about something, they did act like a woman. See? And that, mm-hmm. and, and, and men who are, who are, have any anger in them hate that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's man, uh, manly to act like a woman. Not like only that. is it not manly, but uh, people hate that. People hate the weakness of, of men. It just makes you want to, uh, if you're possessed by evil too, then it makes you want to, um, abuse that person with uh, with your fists or something like that. If you're uh, if you're uh, prone to violence, or just be reject or look down upon that person if you're with if you have that evil spirit in you. Well, but uh, listen, are you gonna if somebody's gonna try to hurt you, are you gonna try to talk them out of it, buddy? Are you gonna are you? Gonna Is that what like you think? You- no anger means. Just t- trying to talk well, no, somebody out of it, or do? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you don't like if, if, if has anybody ever tried to hurt you before? Yeah. I mean, I just ask, huh? Yes. Okay. Did it make you angry? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it didn't. Okay. Sometimes it did. Okay. Well, that's that's built into you to defend yourself. You think that's okay? God given? You think that you need anger to defend not yourself? Not beating your son, not beating your son because he because he looks like the mother or some crap like that. That's wrong. But you don't have okay. to be angry to defend yourself. You're better off not being angry, and being able to defend yourself. Well, maybe yeah. Okay, let me tell you this, and then I'll get off the phone because I need to. True or false? Okay. You're better off not being angry and being able to defend yourself before you make your point. You're better off, say that again? Not being angry and being able to defend yourself. I guess so, yeah. I guess you're, you would be if you had a level head. Yeah, because then you're not yeah. going to go overboard and then get yourself, catch a, catch a felony or whatever. <laughs> well, sometimes you need to be overboard. No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. No. Well, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but maybe, may, maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. My okay. mother, my, my mother... Uh, second husband uh, did something and she got upset with him and she threw all of his stuff out on the carport. And I'm seven years old, okay? He comes home, he starts beating her down the hallway. Mm-hmm. He's on top of her, slapping her in the face. She's crawling towards her bedroom on her back, trying to get away from him. And, and you're seven bedroom, and you're I'm, seven years old looking at this? <laughs> no, I'm in my bedroom. I'm listening to it. And oh. I'm thinking, man, it's going to stop. It's going to stop. And it would stop for a little bit, and then it would get cut, get back up again. They were right outside my door. Yeah. Okay. Well, I finally I just snapped. Okay, and I grabbed this David Bowie knife, Bowie knife that I had bought at the hardware store. That my friends and I thought we were so cool carrying them around, you know, on our belts. I grabbed this big old David Bowie knife, and I come walking out my bedroom, and I say, "Listen, man, if you don't listen, Miss." mf or if you don't get off my mom right now, I'm going to effing kill you. Well, as a seven-year-old, you're cussing like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, she had, you did have a mother with a second husband. Yep, I know. I so you became just it. like her and had a second it. wife. Yeah. Anyway, that snapped him out of it, buddy. <laughs> nice. And that's the kind of stuff I you I think you might have told me this story through. before. I, I might have. But and you think... Line is, huh? Just because just because you stopped a physical thing doesn't mean that you uh, doesn't mean that that was good of you to, good for you to be angry. I mean, you're a little kid. Of course, you're going to be angry at that point. I well, guess. Well, what I'm trying to say is, you know, that kind of stuff gets ingrained in you in your psyche and stuff, and it's oh. hard. To, it's hard, you know, when you get older, that's the kind of stuff that causes people to have anger issues. Okay, seven year old child should have never been subjected to that. Why not? <laughs> Were you? You grew up in a, you know, you grew up in a real nice home. <laughs> right. I had a nicey nice. Your mom I had a nicey place. nice Christian home. Sure I, I heard them yell at each other like twice ever. <laughs> right. See. And and they only yelled at each other. It was like that's it. 
and it was like right. that was traumatizing enough. But the spirit, yeah. the spirit is, the spirit is still traumatized by the anger, and it's not just anger too. It's the nicey nice. It's spoiling. It's injustices of all kinds. Right. Well, yeah. I'll be the first to admit, hey, I got anger problems. So listen, I know you got what? What time? What? Who's coming on your show today? G- Deep left jockle. I had told him that ten o'clock is okay. He's over here on the on the west coast, and he's just getting used to the uh, time zone change. So I'll probably oh, have him okay. on in about a half an hour or so. And I have some other callers, but I appreciate talking right. with you. It's well, fun. I appreciate your calls, David. Hey, take care, man. Y'all have a great day. All right, you too. All right, bye-bye. bye bye. Bye. What a nice guy.